they keep you in there so long, it'll cover your shaggy car. <laughs> For those of you that may have just tuned in, this show is called Great Moments of Comedy, and our good humor man this morning, our invited guest of good humor, is Flip Wilson in an album entitled The Devil Made Me Buy This Dress. And my name is Richard Agello, your regular Sunday morning host. At my side at this moment is Felipe Carbonell, the world record holder of telling jokes. In fact, Felipe, how long do you have this record? I started in 1983 here in Lima, Peru, in the Crillon Hotel. I remember very well that you were prom promoting this event. There was a very nice dinner at the Sheraton Hotel, and Frank Ortiz, the American ambassador, right, went yes, there. Yes. And all the money that it was raised there was to finish that hospital of Neoplastica that is already open. So at that time, that was called Le, uh, Marathon de la Alegría. And it was, uh, how do you say, happiness telemarathon, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, the slogan in Spanish uh, was, Un récord de alegría para curar un gran mal. Yeah. Tell me, Felipe, why have you dedicated so much of your effort and uh, uh, the proceeds, of course, of these uh, benefit performances? You never see one penny of it. What is it? Why is it that you do this? Well, I believe that you remember my wife, Barry, who died of cancer here in Peru. Of course, I remember. So I, I, I thought that it was a very good contribution, you know, for those people who actually, not only the people who die of cancer, because you cannot do sometimes anything, but at least those people who need to know that. Because many people, they may be affected because they do not have the economical means, you know, to help or even to realize that there is nothing to do. So that's why I was very impressed. And since uh, I was very young, my father, who was a mining engineer, taught me a lot of jokes because my family in Spain comes from the southern part of Spain, from Cordoba. But I never found a good reason to beat the world record other than that. And that's why the first time was done on the benefit of the Cancer League, the Cancer Foundation, and the Ladies of Cancer. Unfortunately, I have to confess to you that between them there were not good relations. And uh, at a certain moment, we nearly uh, didn't do it. And uh, I thought that we were going to do it year after year. But unfortunately, as I say, and I think it's human, the people, they do not get together even doing things of charity. So no continuity in carrying out the... Uh, That's right. So that objective. was my first record in 1983, and that was 40, uh, 40 hours. Then somebody broke that record, and you had uh, That's right. That was a fellow that. that I tried to reach in the United States. His Where name is, he is from? Tim Banker. is from Pleasant View, Illinois. Yes. And I was trying to build, you know, a competition, but uh. Uh, I was not very successful. So he made 48 hours sometime afterwards, and I found it, and thanks to a very good friend of mine from Portugal, uh, Darlindo Fortuna, we organized in 1989 in Lisbon, in March, during my birthday, uh -huh. the second trial to beat the world record, and I was very successful, because I made 72 hours. And how many hours did this American The have? fellow was 48 hours. And then later on, I know that he tried last year, on the 4th of July in Las Vegas, to beat my record, and he, he didn't succeed. He fell asleep or what? I don't know, but, uh, you know, I was surprised because I thought that I...